How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to lose weight with cycling and jump rope. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. That's probably it for my coffee. If I have any more coffee, I probably won't sleep. So cycling and jump rope, both of these are amazing. I would not say that one is better than the other. Cycling, yes, it requires lots of cardio or that the act of actually cycling, you're getting a good cardiovascular workout. So I know a lot of people that cycle, they're gonna be like, whoa, whoa, biking, cycling, by far the best workout. Have you ever jumped rope before? Before I've ever jumped rope, I was gonna do a workout. I'm like, okay, like, like I bought a jump rope and I was actually gonna do an actual jump rope workout. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do 10 sets and I'll do five minutes each set for a total of 50 minutes of jump rope or something like that, like an hour of jump rope. You know what happened after I did two minutes of jump rope? I was done. Like my whole workout for the day was done. I was destroyed. Actually, I think I did two other sets and they were only like a minute each. Jumping rope consistently for like two to three minutes is extremely hard to do. So. Both of these, cycling and jumping rope, are gonna make you lose weight so quickly. What people do that really wrecks their progress, two things they do. The first thing, they start off doing way too much. So after about a week, they're burnt out because cycling and jump rope, they take a lot out of you. Or they do too much, doing too much, burning out, same thing really. Um, the second thing is they don't see they don't actually progress from workout to workout. This one's important. So let's say you start jumping rope and let's say you do three sets and you jump rope for 30 seconds for three sets. If that's one workout, the next workout, you should be jumping rope for like 32 seconds for three sets, then 35 seconds, then 40 seconds, then 50 seconds, then a minute. And eventually your times and how much you jump rope should be increasing more and more and more and more and more. That's what should happen. And what's going to happen along the way is you're going to lose a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight. Then you're going to start losing a lot of weight. Over time, you're going to notice a big weight drop. Same for cycling. If you start doing, say, 10 kilometers, the next day you should probably do like 10 and a half kilometers, then 11 kilometers, then 11 and a half. Every single day, you're not gonna be able to hit those goals though. There's gonna be some days where you try to get 10 and a half kilometers and you only get 10 kilometers and maybe a couple of workouts go by, but then eventually you get the 10 and a half, then you might get 11, then you might get stuck at 11 kilometers, but then you might get 12 and 13 and it just keeps going on and on. It's exactly the same for strength training. When I am doing like my bench press, for example, I was doing, I've been working my way up because I didn't bench press for like two years. So I started doing 135. I then next workout I did 155, then 185, then I did 195, then 205. And then I did 215, 225, 235. Now I'm on to 245. All three sets of five repetitions. Um, my pec was getting a little sore. I was supposed to work out today. I did not because the tendon right in here, right with my pec, it's a little sore. So instead of aggravating it, instead of possibly damaging it, getting a tear from it, I'm taking today off and then I'll probably do it on Saturday. What I'm doing differently though, is I'm gonna have a closer grip. I, go, I, I was going pretty wide, now it's gonna be closer. But that's progress. Not every single workout, I hit 245 for three sets of five. There, there might be a workout where I do 245 and I might do a set of five, a set of five, then only a set of three. So if I only do that, then the next workout, I, I try to get all three sets of five. If I get all three sets of five, I add five or 10 pounds. And then I just keep doing that. There's been workouts where I will go 10 workouts in a row. For my deadlift, for example, I was trying to hit 550 for three reps. I went, I think 20 workouts in a row before I finally got those three reps. And then I added a little bit of weight. So it's progress. Main thing I can tell you is progress. Try to do more every single workout. End of video, thank you so much for watching.